Hey all, JTC here, and welcome back to another tier list video. Uh, today we're going to be doing Sienna's weapons. Now, I was originally planning on saving this video for after Sienna's newest career released, however, they did announce that it's going to take a little bit longer than anticipated to release her career, so because of that, I'm just going to go ahead and do this video now so I don't keep you guys waiting any longer. Now, before we even get started, I do want to point out I know I'm missing Coruscation Staff, and because of that, I'm going to start with Coruscation Staff so I don't forget it later. So, starting with Coruscation Staff, Coruscation Staff is easily an S tier Sienna weapon because of its insane damage output. I believe, if I'm not wrong, that Coruscation Staff has the highest uh, DPS potential of any staff, any of Sienna's staffs because the geysers, uh, basically their damage is stack whenever an enemy is standing in multiple geysers. And because of that, if you just spam geysers, hordes and bosses and elites can stand in it and it absolutely melts them. Now, the only quote-unquote problem with Coruscation Staff is that it lacks really any sort of defensive capability. Pretty much every single staff has some sort of defensive capability, usually in the form of Stagger, and Coruscation uh, does not have this. However, it doesn't need it because its damage is so insanely high. So yeah, because of that, it's an S-tier weapon. Next up is Flamestorm. Flamestorm is the equivalent of Drake Fire, uh, of Barden's Drake Fire gun on Sienna, and it's not inherently a bad weapon. The only problem with it on Sienna is that there are just so many other better staff options uh, that you can pick that will cover pretty much any other uh, thing that you need. And because of that, uh, Flamestorm is just really an underwhelming weapon choice for Sienna, unless you're doing something like Bomb Wrath twins or something. Other than that, it's not really that good of a weapon, which is why I would put it in C tier. Next up is going to be Conflag Staff. Uh, Conflag Staff is a staff that's not really amazing, but it's also not bad. It's kind of perfectly in the middle. Um, it's a very, very safe staff, uh, considering how much stagger it has and how much, um, and the fact that you can do that stagger at range. And because of that, it makes for a really, really safe option for a staff if you don't, if you kind of want to play it safe. Um, but other than that, it doesn't really have anything going for it. Uh, kind of a side comment, someone described Conflag Staff to me basically as a, a Sienna's shielded option, or the equivalent thereof, and I thought that was a really unique way to look at it. Which is why I would honestly just leave it in AB tier. It's not great, but it's not bad. Uh, next up is Beam Staff. Beam Staff um, is actually kind of has a funny history. Uh, for people that don't know, when Vermintide first came out, uh, Beam Staff and Pyromancer had a very interesting combination with each other. Um, if you if you were to put Beam Staff on pretty much any Sienna career, it didn't have to be Pyromancer, and you were to left click on a Horde's head and kind of wiggle back and forth, you would rapidly gain your ult charge because for some reason, uh, all of the ult you would just get a bunch of ult charge whenever you hit uh, someone in the head with Beam Staff. Don't know why. That's just what happened. And what happened was people would play Pyromancer and basically wiggle their beam staff across the head of a horde and then get their ult in like less than two seconds and then ult and then do that again and then ult and then just repeat that and basically be able to solo a horde in no in no time. And that um, kind of birthed the meme of Wigglemancer back in the day. Now Wigglemancer is dead. Long live Wigglemancer. I miss her so much. I definitely, it definitely needed to be nerfed though, don't get me wrong. But um... After the nerf of Wigglemancer and the nerf of Beamstaff, people kind of ignored Beamstaff and kind of chalked it as a trash weapon until the boss killing build came out on it. And after that was discovered, the weapon became basically a staple in any uh, Sienna main or just any Sienna's uh, kit. Basically what this build is, is you throw Beamstaff on Battle Wizard, you throw on Famished Flames, and you put Barrage on on the beam staff and if you just sit uh, at a boss and you hold left click the barrage will start to proc and will start to increase the damage done uh, to the boss and with famished flames that uh, damage becomes very quick or very very large very quick and because of that it is honestly one of her best weapons it is by far her best boss killing weapon even more than coruscation staff in my opinion because it's reliable with coruscation you have to get the boss to stay in the geysers with beam staff you can just be anywhere and if you needed to um if you got to high overcharge you could just vent and then keep up the barrage uh, next up is bolt staff bolt staff is a very very good uh sienna staff um, it doesn't have very high um, boss damage, but it does everything else really well, especially when you 
once more put it on pi uh, put it on um battle wizard and pair it with volcanic force that's pretty much the meta with this weapon and if you do that you can pretty much one shot every single um elite or special in this game minus chaos warriors with a body shot and because of that that makes it uh sienna's basically staple special killing weapon and don't get me wrong if you run volcanic uh force and you hit headshots on hordes you can absolutely destroy hordes as well with this weapon which is why i would honestly put this weapon in sa Next up is going to be her one-handed sword. Uh, her one-handed sword is equivalent to Kruber's in every single way, shape, and form, uh, but it is actually going to be better because of, just simply because of Pyromancer. Um, whenever you can stack attack speed and crit chance on a weapon, it just inherently makes that weapon better. And Pyromancer's extra crit chance and attack speed uh, boost her one-handed sword from mediocre to actually really, really good, which is why I would put it in A tier, personally. Now, don't get me wrong, you could also run it on Unchained and do pretty well with it because of the extra power increase, but in my opinion, I think the crit chance and the attack speed make it a lot better. Uh, next up is going to be Two-Handed Mace. Two-Handed Mace is a deceptively good weapon. Um, this weapon used to be absolute garbage before the big balance beta. Uh, it was honestly one of the worst weapons in the game next to a two-handed sword on Kruber and Salt Spire. But after the change, I think they, they gave it a lot more attack speed. They gave it, I think, a little more damage and they gave it more stagger, I think, or something like that. But after the change, this weapon became an absolute beast. And once more, just like one-handed sword, um... It's okay on its own, but if you give it to Pyromancer with the extra attack speed and crit chance, it becomes an absolute monster killer. Not not monster killer as in boss killer, but it becomes an absolute beast of a weapon is what I meant to say. Um, honestly, in my opinion, it's better than one-handed sword because it can actually deal with um, armored really, really well. Um, its left attack is basically an overhead bonk that you can spam um, that does really, really good damage. And because you're going to be critting a lot on Pyromancer, you're going to be doing a lot of extra damage just to begin with. And because of that, I would put it with A tier. Um, like I said, I think it's a little better than one-handed sword, but I don't think it's quite as A tier. Speaking of really good weapons, let's talk about Flaming Flail. Flaming Flail is honestly one of Sienna's best, if not the best, weapon in her arsenal because of just the amount of defensive and offensive capabilities it brings. Um, its damage is just really good, there's no other way to put it than that, but its defensive capabilities is also really, really good because its heavy one basically releases like basically an overhead... Um, attack which explodes in a small aoe around or in front of her which staggers does damage and applies a dot to enemies that are caught in the blast and honestly because that is spammable and you can just do that over and over again you can pretty much just keep a horde on lockdown by yourself as sienna um the thing is this uh, attack is also shield breaking so it'll shatter wooden shields and it's also a flail, so it just ignores shields, so it can just deal with everything really, really well, which is why I would put it in S tier. Amazing weapon. Next up is Fireball Staff. Honestly, I love Fireball Staff. It's honestly kind of uh, just really a safe choice. It's a comfort choice. It's um, warm. It's fuzzy. It's like drinking a hot uh, cocoa next to a fire during a blizzard. It just it's always feels good to run Fireball Staff because it's, it can you can use it and no one's going to shit on you for using it. Maybe a little bit on... Uh, on Battle Wizard, but on Pyro and Unchained, no one's going to shoot on you for running Fireball. It's not a bad choice. It's actually a pretty good staff. Something that people don't know about Fireball is that it actually has inherent monster damage to it. Um, I think it's like 10 or 20%, so it's actually pretty good at killing um, bosses, and because of that extra, that inherent uh, monster damage, it's actually possible with an extra 10% Skaven or 10% monster to kill a Hook Rat with one fully charged Fireball. Um, something else about Fireball is that um, if you fully charge the Fireball, um, it actually does more damage than just spamming it. So yeah, like I said, very safe weapon, very fun weapon, very cozy weapon. There's really not much else to say about it, which is why I would honestly put it also in A tier. I love it. Uh, next up is Crowbill. Crowbill is essentially um, Sienna's version of a one-handed axe low cleave high single target damage and that's really about it um the problem with crowbill though is it doesn't really have that much stagger when compared to a one-handed axe and because of that it's not good i don't know um crowbill got crowbill used to be meta 
back in the day, but after uh, Winds of Magic dropped, it just got really, really bad. And yeah, even if you put it on Pyro, it does better on Pyro because of the attack speed, and you can, and because of the crits, it increases the um the stagger power of it because crits just inherently increase stagger power. But even on Pyro, it just is very lacking. I don't know. I kind of struggle where to put this on the tier list. I guess I'll put it in B, C. I don't know. Originally, I had it in B, but I think I'm going to leave it in B, C. I honestly think you can do better than Crowbill. Second to last is going to be Flaming Sword. Uh, Flaming Sword is also one of Sienna's best weapons because it has almost everything you could expect a weapon to have. Insane Cleave, Insane Temp HP Gain, Insane Stagger, um, good damage. It has a pretty good dot. Uh, that gets better with Famished Flames. It's just overall a solid weapon. However, the thing that it lacks is armor damage, and its armor damage is honestly really, really pathetic. Um, you're honestly better tickling a Chaos Warrior with a feather than hitting him with a Flame Sword. And because of that, it's not as good as Flaming Flail, and it's honestly why I would put it in SA tier. Um, that lack of armor damage is just really, really crippling for the weapon. And because of that, you basically need to take a staff that has armor damage. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to do anything against armor at all. Now, however, there actually is one weapon that can kind of deal with armor and has a little bit more than Flame Sword does, and that's One-Handed Dagger. One-Handed Dagger is essentially, uh, a, is essentially Flaming Sword, in my opinion, but better, which is why I would put this weapon in S tier. It can do absolutely everything that Flaming Sword does, but it actually has more uh, super armor damage and armor damage with the stab, and it also has mobility, um, which is the two things that Flaming Sword lacks. And because of that, I would put it right next to Flaming Flail in S tier. Now, don't get me wrong, the Flaming Flail and Dagger aren't the same weapon. They don't do the same thing. However, they both do uh, their job really, really well. Flaming Flail is a very good offensive weapon that has a little bit of defense, while one or one-handed dagger is a really, really good, really, really, really good defensive weapon that has some good offense. If you ever see me run uh, Fortunes of War, you will always, always, always see me uh, run one-handed dagger over Flame Sword because the extra armor damage and the mobility that you can get with one-handed dagger is just, it's so much, it makes, it it's just makes the weapon so much better than Flaming Sword. And yeah, that is my tier list for Sienna. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to see some more Vermintide content, make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below telling me what you think. See y'all next time.